<clears throat> hey guys, hey guys, Rachel B. Foy here, the Elevated Possibilities Coach. I am so glad you're here today in the community. Um, for those of you who this is your first week or your first time catching a live in our community, welcome. We're so glad that you're here. I'm Rachel B. Foy, the Elevated Possibilities Coach. I support women with mindset, mission, and value. So shifting their mindset to be able to find clarity and purpose with their mission in life and then stand firmly in their value, mindset, mission, and value. So we started Operation Healthy Body. So the premise of Operation Healthy Body, as many of you may have seen, it started with me seeing my face on the playback of an interview and not being absolutely pleased with what I saw. Um, so we kind of discussed why it was Operation Healthy Body and not a diet, not a challenge, and things like that. Um, one of the main pieces is shifting our mindset. So this week I did do a video talking about our mindset and just remembering that there are going to be times whenever we're trying to change a habit that we are going to revert. <clears throat> Oftentimes we may want to revert or fall back into our old habits. One, because they're comfortable. Two, because that's just what we've done. That's what we've typically done. So you go back to what you are comfortable with and what you've routinely done. But once we recognize that we're falling back into those old habits, those old unhealthy habits, that we then need to reverse it. So we talked about taking control of our mindset to make sure that we could reverse it. Um, also, if it is your first time here, last week, we all set, um, I won't say a challenge, but a goal for ourselves. And the goal is that last week from Tuesday to this Tuesday, that we would have had three days where we raised our heart rate. So with whatever kind of exercise, um, I believe one person in the community, Minerva, she actually lives by a beach, which is phenomenal. So she went on walks by the beach and she went on walks and jogs and what have you by the beach. Then, excuse me, I believe Jennifer, who's also in the community, um, she did some on her treadmill as well as she did some painting in her house. And then, um, who else did we have? Uh, Patsy. I know Patsy got her three days in and she actually reported that she too um, did different sorts of exercising and maybe she painted in her house, but someone painted in their house. But listen, I have painted in my house before and I know full well that you can absolutely get your heart rate up with that rolling up and down. So the goal last week was to make sure that we started out with moving, making our bodies move. Because once we start moving, we know that a good blood flow, good oxygen is going to help us with our clarity, is going to help us with our thinking, and more importantly, it's going to help us with our health. So Operation Healthy Body is so much more than just let's lose some weight. It's truly gradually shifting and changing our lifestyle. So today I wanted to have Natasha Williams. She is a Zumba instructor, a fitness instructor, a nutritionist, basically anything healthy and exercise. That's absolutely what Natasha does, as well as a number of other endeavors. So I wanted her to come on today just to give us some ideas of being able to work out with the family. Like what's some ways that we can incorporate working out with the family? So whether your family includes you still have small kids at home like I do, um, maybe you have nieces and nephews, maybe your family is just your significant other, your husband, but whomever your family may be, you may not always be able to steal away time to go and exercise. So I wanted to know ways to incorporate the family. For example, yesterday, um, when I had taken the kids to the park, 
after we did the jog and they were still at the park playing, you know, they have the benches out there. So with the benches, I actually did some push-ups on the bench. So I was, you know, just leaning against the bench and then I was just pushing up from the top of the table. So that definitely, that was much better on my knees and my legs. It also gave me full, I was really working my upper body. So whenever we are talking about Operation Healthy Body, we want to do what's going to give us maximum benefit, but also that's going to be able to be incorporated into our lives. So hold on just a second and let me see if we can get Natasha on here. Oh, okay. Okay. She said, give her like three minutes. Okay, perfect. She actually is coming from, uh, she has Zumba, I want to say at seven o'clock tonight, which is why we did it at seven, I mean at six o'clock. So she has Zumba tonight and she was coming from another workout class that she was doing, teaching another workout class. Um, so we'll have her here very shortly. But like I said, with this one, we want to find different ways that we are going to be able, hey, Jennifer, uh, different ways that we'll be able to incorporate the family with our workouts as well. Good to see you, Jennifer. Thanks for checking in. Um, Jennifer, I'm just talking about Natasha is going to be on with us shortly, but I was just telling everybody about how we got started. And last week we set that we would have three days a minimum of three days that we would get our heart rate up. And so regardless to what it was, we just wanted to get moving. We wanted to get our heart rate up. And we are shifting from dieting and extreme whatever to actually shifting our lifestyle. So we're doing that in small increments, which last week we started, as you know, which you met your three. Um. We started that last week with going three days a week that we're elevating our heart rate. So this week I have Natasha coming. She's a fitness instructor, Zumba instructor, um, nutritionist. <clears throat> She's actually coming from a workout boot camp that she just did. So she'll be on with us shortly. But I wanted to have her come on and give us ideas of exactly how. Hi. Hi, Jennifer's mom. Um, but she's going to come on and tell us how we can incorporate our family. So whether it's your husband, whether you still have small kids at home, which you don't have small kids like me, but you have kids nonetheless. So regardless to who it is, how do we incorporate our family and still be able to get our work out in? And so I was just giving the example that yesterday when we went to the park, so we jogged down there, the girls wanted to play and I didn't want my heart rate to go down. So I did some jogs back and forth down. <clears throat> and then I also did some push ups. So just a bench that's already there, the top of the bench, I just went on the side and did like push ups. So it was better on my knees. My knees weren't hurting and it actually was helping um, me really work my upper body and my arms, which is what my goal was. So I wanted her to give us some ideas of what we can do at home. Everybody doesn't enjoy a dance party. I don't know why, because I love a dance party, but everyone may not be into dance parties, but I always say at home, the best way to get my, <laughs> I tickle myself, the best way to get the cardio in is to do a quick dance party, like to any song. And I'm telling you, if you want your kids to get super excited, you do a dance party and let your husband or those brothers join in and they love it. It's, it's good times for the whole family. But that's what we're talking about. Um, I also wanted her to give us some ideas for quick snacks, um, healthy snacks, because we know the typical <laughs> Jennifer loves dance parties. Good that you can incorporate dance parties, too. It's good. <laughs> Um, also for the snacks, we know, you know, raw vegetables, raw fruits for us to eat, but I wanted her to give us some additional ideas that we can start incorporating in our eating. 
because I don't know about you, but sometimes I get bored eating carrots all the time. So I need something to switch it up, even if I have carrots. And instead of ranch dressing, I have used like Greek yogurt and a ranch dressing um, packet, just like maybe a tablespoon of it. But I'll take a tablespoon or two tablespoons of the Greek yogurt and then do about a teaspoon of the ranch dressing and mix it together. It tastes just like the ranch dressing without all of the calories. So that's one idea also. Okay, Natasha says she is ready. Let's bring her on. Hold on just a second. Here we go. Okay, I just sent that to her. So do we have any updates? Also next week, I would like for anyone to come on live with me and share some of your successes these two weeks, whether it is a success you feeling accomplished that we finished the three days. Listen, like I wasn't sure if I was going to get that third day in, <laughs> but I got the third day in. So it's about movement. So whether it's success with that, if you're sleeping better, um, if there's adjustments that you've made to be able to incorporate this movement into your life, I really want to hear from you guys. Um, if I can hear from you guys next week and while we're waiting for Natasha, Jennifer, do you want to come on? Jennifer, you want to you wanna come on? <laughs> come on with me. Let's see. No views. Okay. I invited her. She's trying to come on. We had difficulties. I did. Jennifer said, I did get my third day in. Yay. Yay. Good job. And see... To a most people, sure, I am technically challenged. Okay, so this is what I'll do. Um, there should be something on your screen that says, like, ask, you want to request to be in the video? And you should be able to request to be in the video. I was having technical difficulties earlier. I don't, a viewer wants to be in your broadcast. Oh, perfect. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Approve. Add. Okay, it's adding. I think about it. really messed up like it needs to be replaced and I think I've tried every diet known to man and it just doesn't work so so since school started I've been doing just my fitness pal and just tracking everything basically and I've lost 38 
since school started. But it's a slow process, and I'm to the point where it's just, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paused or whatever. And so, I don't know. It sounded like something fun, and it's not a gimmicky thing, and, you know. Right, right. I'm tired of gimmicky. Awesome. Awesome. Just like you, I've tried 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 the gimmicky. gimmicky. And typically, and typically, I lose, I lose weight. weight. But, mm-hmm. but, but then, I, then I get it all back. back. Plus some. And then some. And then so. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. And the time, and the time that, I that, that I did the best. Is that echoing, is that echoing for you? No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So the time, so the time that, I that I did the best was actually, was actually when, when I just changed, changed my, lifestyle. my lifestyle. When I mm. ate the snacks in between. In between. I ate, I ate in moderation. In moderation. I, gave I gave myself, myself one cheat meal, meal, and I just, and I got, just my got my body moving. moving. So, yeah. so when I, when I looked, up looked up and realized that I had gained that weight back, 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 I was like, I was I'm, like, done. I'm done. done. Like, no more, no more of the pills and the 21 days and the 16 to 90 Yeah, I know. And cabbage, cabbage, soup. Yeah. Mom what said no that? more what cabbage. That? She said no more cabbage soup. That's right. No more cabbage soup. <laughs> no more cabbage soup. And no more and no of the, uh, the, uh, the grapefruit juice. Where you, yeah. you, yeah. you only right. drink right. like grapefruit, grapefruit, grapefruit and tie it. No. Like, no. None of that. None of that. None of that. She's None of that. out here laughing like, don't put that camera on me. <laughs> yes. yes. Don't put the camera on her. Don't put the camera on her. We're just glad to have her. So, so next, week, next week, or actually, or actually this, week, this have week, have you had, had success success this, week? this week? Um, I called mom after school and said, let's go get a hamburger. So today was not a good day. It's the cheat day. But okay, today's today's the cheat day. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. But I'm okay. okay with that and getting back on track. So yeah. I've yes. gotten to the point where that doesn't throw me off a whole lot. So good. good. Yeah. And I think, I one, think of one of the worst things, things for at least for me, me that we can do is completely deprive ourselves because, because then, then we, we end up being overeating and completely overindulged and we just allow ourselves to cheat day, one cheat day, and you know, you'll see your good. Well, my mama's sitting here going, that's right, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, she has we, the we've been there. there. We, yeah. Yes, yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. Well, thank you so thank you much, so much Jennifer. Jennifer. So next, so next week, week, I'll have, have some people, some people um, come, on, come on also. So, so if you have some successes for next, for next week, week, which I know, I know you will have, have. I'd yeah. love, love for you and your mom. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mom and I, um, we got to fix her DVD player, but we want to start doing yoga at home. Just we're not in front of a bunch of weirdos, and if we Mm -hmm. go to the bathroom Mm -hmm. or whatever, we can, and, you know. We set our own time. Yeah, we set our own time. That's right, at your own pace and your own time, absolutely. So we're going to try that. That's our goal. Pretty quick. Okay. okay. Good. Good. And, and actually, Natasha, when she comes on, um, approve. Um, approve. I did approve. Um, when she comes, when she comes on, on, she'll be talking, she'll be talking about, about yoga, yoga also. also. I asked her to incorporate that also. also. So I'll definitely have her talk about, talk about some of that. that. And maybe like like a YouTube, YouTube station, station or some people on YouTube that have a good, quick YouTube. Um, um, because I have, I still have to be careful of my knee, but I don't want to use that as like mm-hmm. I can't do anything because my knee hurts. You know, like I still got to right, do right. something. So that's right. That's right. Well, you're doing well, you're great. Doing so, so keep marching forward with our operation. Yay! <laughs> we are not dieting. Not dieting. <laughs> okay. 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 She's so funny. <laughs> I don't know how to do all this stuff. Me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Here's the thing. 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 Here's the thing.
Do I need to get off or whatever? Yes. How do you get off? Okay. Let's see if I can to the group. I am off. Okay. <clears throat> so I invited Natasha. Hello. Are you guys there? <laughs> I'm sorry. I am trying to add. So Jennifer, you added really easily and really quickly. So I'm not sure what's going on technically with our, with Natasha. I'm going to try to send her. Nope, it says that it's already a request. I can't send one to her. Okay, so I'm having technical difficulties. I don't know, weird, huh? It is weird. It's very weird because, Jennifer, I was able to add you really easy and you hopped right on. I can't send her another request. Okay, she sent me one. Let's try this again. Approve, approve, add, it's adding, okay, I think we got it, it's adding, connecting, it's connecting, finally, <laughs> finally, <laughs> it worked this time, I don't know what happened, yes. I know. I was like, what the world is going on? This should be really easy. Yes. So now we are here. I know that um, I have already introduced the group, given the, the group um, some background on you. Yes, there she is. Uh, Jennifer. Hi. And so uh, Jennifer and her mom here. And so everything we talked about, we talked about some workouts at home, how to incorporate those workouts um we also okay. wanted to see about you know the yoga as well as um including the meditation so natasha i will just let you take it away okay the sun is behind me so that's why i'm at an angle i was like ah, hi okay. how's everybody doing <laughs> okay sorry my class went over right. a little bit longer rachel sorry I was like, oh no, I gotta hurry up. No All righty. So, um, no so you talked about some workout at home, like what, like some different things to do, or yes. So I was just giving them an example. Like for me, we will do. Um, well, I love dance parties. Okay, so we'll put on a certain song, and I mean, I will literally just dance to the song. For those of us that are beginning our movement again, a three to five minute song will have me sweating, okay? Then I take a little break oh, yeah. and do it again. Oh, yeah. So that's really the only thing I talked about. And then also like incorporating the kids, I told them how yesterday when we went to the park, um, I jogged while the kids rode their bike. But then once we got there, um, I did some sprints up and down, but then also on the bench, I had my legs out straight and I did like some push up um, on the table, like to work my upper body, but not put so much strain on my knees. So that's really all I came up with. <laughs> oh yeah, and no, those are excellent things that I will do sometimes because I have a park that is close by me. And so there's one, two, three, four benches around. And so on each bench, I decide to do something different. And so, like you said, I'll do some push-ups at one. I'll stop at the next bench. I'm going to do some uh, squats. I'll stop at the next bench. I'm going to do some uh, up, up, you know, up, down, step up, step back down. I'll stop at the last bench. I'm going to do some seated um, uh, crunches. Because there's four different benches around there, so that gives me four different exercises to do. So that's a great thing. And you can stop and do okay. that with your walk. You can walk for five minutes first and then start doing that if there's benches there. Um, there's another mm -hmm. part that's in uh, Missouri City that actually have equipment around the track. So if you live like in that area, they actually have a, actual equipment at different locations, kind of like the benches are at my park. 
and you can do different things. Mm -hmm. So that's a great idea. That's an excellent idea to do those things like that. Another thing, if you're at the park, you can start out with a walk on one side and then jog the corners, kind of like you would do a track. Mm -hmm. You can do that mm -hmm. same thing at mm -hmm. a park because mm -hmm. they're straight and then you can jog the corners. Go straight, jog the corners to kind of, you know, want to build up to those type of things. Also, when you're running, try to run in grass. Um, if possible, yeah. uh, dirt mm -hmm. and gravel can kind of be hard on the knees. So if you're running, mm -hmm. run in grass, mm -hmm. if possible, if you're not on a track. Um, so now, me, how about, so what can we do with people who have um, maybe like their knees are bothering them and so they need to be careful of the different movements and they don't want to just sit but they want to be able to move as well but they have to be conscientious of their knees they have knees issues they have uh, one thing, like I said, was also make sure you're on grass. If you have a knee issue, if you're outside, okay. make sure you're on grass. If you're inside, okay. just don't overextend that knee. Don't do the movement too deep. Don't do anything that requires you to be on your knees a lot. Um, they can do squats, but do squats in a chair. Actually sit down in the chair, get back up. Sit down in the chair, get back up. You know, mm -hmm. therefore... Therefore, you're still doing the squat because that's all a squat is. They tell you all the time, pretend like you're sitting in the chair. The only thing is when you go back and you have to hold your body up, that is kind of putting a little strain on the knee. So to combat that, just sit down in the chair, then stand back up. Sit down in the chair, then stand back up. You're still doing the same movement as a squat. You know? Same that's movement. awesome. A chair is a great and idea. I wouldn't, but I wouldn't, do so, I wouldn't do something soft like a couch. Don't do a couch because a couch is a little too soft and it's st you still are going to go down too low. You want something a little bit more sturdy like a chair that, you know, it's not going to give, okay. push that give when you fall down. When, well, not fall down, when you sit down in there and get back up. And you're still doing that movement. I love that. I love that. Mm-hmm. That is um, another good. thing, um, if you want to really focus on doing your workout at home, you don't really need equipment mm -hmm. to do workouts at home, not at all. But if you do want to add equipment, the first thing that I always tell people to do is find like very like heavy, larger canned goods that they can fit in their hands to replace a dumbbell. Mm -hmm. You can use um, gallon water jugs. Or, or even the not even at the gallon ones just yet, but the ones that's right. What's on the right on the gallon? The quartz one, quart size one that have handles. Uh -huh, the half gallon. Uh -huh, the half gallon. Uh -huh, the the half half gallon. Ga yeah, the half gallon that have handles. Okay. Yes. So you can start out using those things as equipment um, before you want to run out and go spend your money on buying dumbbells and things of that nature. You have that stuff at your house. Um, if you want to do anything with triceps, you can use those things. You can use those can goods to do triceps. You can use those uh, water jugs are kind of hard to do the triceps with, but the can goods are easy mm -hmm. to do triceps with. Water jugs okay. can that you got it needs to be full. Don't have it uh, or or half full. That'll still change the okay. weight okay. of the jug. If you're trying to do anything mm. tricep, but biceps, you know that's pretty easy to do bicep work um, with those water jugs. Mm -hmm. I try to use, uh -oh. um, um, use the um, the can good. Um, another thing you can do at home is if you mm. have, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, okay, okay. Um, if you have stairs, if you have stairs at your home, start out walking up and down those stairs. Up and down is one mm -hmm. set. Um, if you have, if you're a person that have knee issues, use the hand. Don't move fast at first. You want to build the strength up. And how you build the strength up is literally just by walking up and down. So go up and down. That would be one. You can start out with just doing five of those. Mm -hmm. And then build your way up. And then eventually you're going to be running up and down them. But you want to build that strength. So if you have knee issues, oh. you want to build your strength up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. um, that's what I tell people if they have their stairs are like their best friends and their your stairs are like your best friend at your house. Like seriously. You have an elliptical basically right there. It just doesn't move. 
but uh huh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Not an elliptical, yeah. the stair climber, the stair climber. You have a stair climber right the stair there. Climber. Yes. Yeah, the stair climber. It just doesn't oh, move. No, this... But you have a so stair climber right, right there. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, it's really good way to build up endurance. It's a good way to build up strength in those legs. Use that handle if you have a handle. Mm -hmm. Start out slow, and then gradually move your way up to maybe a um a jog, and then actually you'll be running them like you used to, you know. Back in the day when we used to run stairs in high school, that was what that's back why in the day, that. yeah. Uh huh, that's why <laughs> back they in did the day. that. Right. Yeah, that is why they did those. Things. Okay, mm -hmm. so those are great um, ways to exercise at home and incorporate the family. What about yoga? Like, um, we had kind of discussed talking about yoga, and I know that you do yoga classes. Uh -huh. So for those of us, because we live in a more rural area and don't have quick access to, like, a yoga studio or even a gym, so are there any yoga, like, videos on YouTube or beginning? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my gosh, yes, yes. Okay. There's a young lady. Look her up. It is called Yoga with Adrian. Adrian is spelled A D I E N N E. Okay. She has she has videos for the very 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 beginner to the super advanced. Right now she actually has a 30-day challenge out right now um, for uh, for the month of March. And so, I mean, she's excellent. I love yoga with Adrian. I love it. I love it. And she's on YouTube? Yep, she's on YouTube. It's free. There's no charge. Okay, okay and that name was A-D-R-I-E-N-N-E? -N -N -E? Yep, uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she's out of Austin, okay. Texas. <laughs> Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Austin, Texas. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Now, um, let's, yes, I'm going to, let me tell them, I'm going to post the info here as soon as we, um, because Tasha will have to leave soon. She has a class, but uh, I will post the info here after I'll post it in the comments so that you guys will have, um, I'll grab the link and then I'll also post the name so you guys can look it up. Okay. Yeah, I have a, I have another one. Um, if you want some good beginner workouts, that can, yes. you can do at home. Go to nerdfitness.com. N e r d. Yep, nerdfitness.com. Mhm. Mm and they okay. have some. They got some basic one hundred ones, one hundred ones. Um, that you gonna that you can do. Um. And it's stuff without equipment, you know, so you don't need equipment to do it. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, and then health Healthline. I have a, a website called Healthline that I use all the time. It's a great website for nutrition. Okay. And I actually send out their um I actually send out their newsletter to my people. I said they they send a newsletter mm -hmm. every week and I just send that newsletter over. So if you give me your email, I'll add you to that list and then you can forward that. Awesome. Um, okay, I will. So I'll send you my email and then when you send it to me, I'll just post it here for okay. um for the community. Okay. And also okay. go to myplate.gov. They also have some great, great my, myplate.gov. Oh, plate. Okay. Myplate.gov. Yes. Mm -hmm. And is that also on nutrition? Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. Excellent. 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 Okay, these are great. So I'll be sure. Mm -hmm. So just to get us started with yoga, we have Yoga with Adrian out of Austin, Texas. We can find her on YouTube. Uh -huh. 
Then we can also look at basic 101 workouts from nerdfitness.com. Uh-huh. And as well as when we're looking for nutrition, we have the myplate.gov for nutrition as well as a helpline that I'll yeah. email you about. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. So before oh, you go, I know you got to keep yes. going. Can you tell us just a little bit about meditation <clears throat> and why yeah. is it important and even debunking some of the popular myths about meditation? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so I actually do a meditation for one of the companies that I um, teach uh, uh, hit classes for. They wanted me to start doing meditation. So I do a monthly meditation for them. And I, I do a 20-minute session, 20 minute session three times in a month. But I teach them the same thing. They were thinking, oh, I don't have time to meditate, or, you know, this, that, and other. And so I teach them different meditation strategies at work. Um, it's called mindful meditation. And so I told them meditation mm-hmm. can be as simple as writing down your feeling, how are you feeling, being aware of how you're feeling. Because sometimes we lash out at people at work because we're stressed and because we're going through whatever, whatever. So one thing is being mindful of how you're feeling. Mm-hmm. That will help you better react to what's going on around you and to the people that are around you. So that's one thing. And you can do that quick. You can do a, just a quick assessment. Mm-hmm. Is my heart beating fast? Uh, am, are my fingers, is my fingers clenched up? Is my face tight? You know, so those are signs mm-hmm. of stress. So what you want to do is mm-hmm. do a quick meditative session to yourself, just a mindful session to be aware of uh, loosening your face, unclench your fingers, mm-hmm. sit down, take a mm-hmm. quick sit down and some deep breaths. Okay. Seriously. That's it. So meditation okay. does not have to be mm-hmm. no long, overdrawn thing. It doesn't, not at all. Um, uh, I actually have 12 tips real quick. I'll run over through with, with you. So I told you the first one was re- recognize, okay. your, recognize your stress by checking in on yourself. That's one. That's a quick meditate. That is a quick meditative. That gets you back in the right mind, state of my, mind frame just by checking myself. Let me check myself. Am I upset about something? Did something happen? And that's why I'm mashing out. That's why I'm feeling stressed at work, blah, blah, blah. The second mm-hmm. one is take. The second one is the easiest one. Take deep breaths. If you control your mm, breathing, mm-hmm. you can you control your life. Because if you notice, if you get upset, the first thing that gets out of control is your breathing. So control mm, your breathing. Yeah, control you're, right, your breathing. you're right. Another thing, mindful journaling. Put your emotions down into words so that when you feel like you're upset, find your journal and actually write it, write it out. Instead of acting it out, write it out. You got to find mm-hmm. a way to get it out oh, of I like that. Yeah. Put your emotions into words. And that'll help you release them. Okay. Just close your eyes. So write it out. Mm-hmm. Another one, close your eyes and visualize something peaceful, something nice, a, a great moment that you had to put, bring you back to focus. Okay. Five, choose an activity. These are all med- different ways to meditate, just quick. Choose an activity that helps you relax, whether it's taking a walk, playing with your kids, taking a shower. That's meditative. That's good for the body because you enjoy doing it. Okay. Okay. Six, have compassion on yourself. A lot of people are too hard on themselves. And that causes them to be stressed Mm, out. mm -hmm. Just have compassion on yourself. Be kind to yourself. Understand that you're not perfect and you're going to make mistakes. That's a meditative right there. Just if you Mm -hmm. make a mistake, it's okay. I am not perfect. I'm going to fix this, or I, I can't fix this right now. Ain't nothing I can do about it. I just got to keep moving. Have compassion for yourself and know that you're not perfect. Mm-hmm. It'll be okay. Seven, 
watch your thoughts and have some positive um, things in there to replace your bad thoughts. So if you're at mm, work, if you're, yeah. uh, if you're at home, you need to take a moment and just watch your thoughts. Like, oh, I'm thinking negative. And you got to have something, whatever it is, to, to replace that. Whether it's an I can right. do it, I am wonderful, I am beautiful, I am smart, I am talented, mm -hmm. I am well, you know, whatever. Have, have something in place to, when you can find yourself thinking negatively, because negative thinking mm -hmm. will turn outward also as well, and you'll do, you'll start responding in a negative way. So you need to take a moment, it only takes a minute or two, to watch your thoughts. Then say, oh, okay, I'm, I'm being negative, okay. now I need to fix that. Nine, mm -hmm. smile, mm -hmm. meditate not only is that meditative to you, it's meditative to everybody else around you. Smile. Yeah. Yes. Smile. Smile. <laughs> Ten, notice five things that you normally would not be thankful for. Have a thankful journal and do try to do five things every day for a week mm. to be thankful for. That's meditative. Whether it's, oh, I'm, thank God I can turn my lights on. Thank gosh I can get in my car and drive it. Thank goodness I have gas. Thank God I have money that to, to, to you know pay these bills. Uh, thank God that I'm you know I'm healthy. Thank God I have a family. Thank God for my mother. Whatever five things that you would normally be thankful for that's that's minor, but if you didn't have it, it would actually affect you in a major way. Whether it's mm. thank good I got this bed that I can sleep in every night. You know. Mm -hmm. you that's know. right. That's um, right. Uh, number eleven. Recite a motto, a mantra a confirmation, or a Bible verse daily. You can do that in the morning. When you first wake up, I have, I have a one quote. It says, be consistent and engage. I mean, be patient and engage in consistent activity. I say that to myself every single, it's on mm -hmm. my mirror. It's on my mirror in my restroom. Mm -hmm. When I open up my mirror, the first thing I see is because, of course, I'm starting a new business, so I got to be patient, but engage in consistent activity daily. So I say that to myself, mm -hmm. be patient and engage in consistent activity every day. So just have something mm. that you that's quick. It doesn't have to be that doesn't have to be something long, just quick that'll remind you and it'll bring you yeah. back to your state of peace. And then the last yes. thing, yes. focus on gratitude. That's another quick meditation. You focus on gratitude. Then, you know, telling people thank you when they open okay. the door. Thank you for, you know, for this, that, no, just focus on gratitude. Mm -hmm. All those are quick meditative mm -hmm. things that you can do that doesn't take a long time. But if you want some guided meditations, YouTube have excellent quick five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes guided meditations that are mm -hmm. excellent. Don't meditate in your car, though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not in your car. Don't don't yeah, don't do yeah. it in your car. Don't do and it in your you're car. sitting in front of work, getting ready to go in, and you might want to get a moment to you know uh, focus yourself. But yeah, <laughs> right. Yes. 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 Yeah. Did you tell them about? Uh, take a quick moment. Yeah. Did you tell them about a uh, 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 workout journal? Anytime you're starting a new no, workout regimen. Oh, anytime you're starting a new workout regimen, it is suggested that you do a workout journal. And in this journal, there needs to be these things. You need to write down what exercise you're going to do or you did. You need to weigh yourself at least once a week. Don't do it every day. But at least weigh yourself. You need to write down the food that you ate. You need to write down how you felt before your workout and after your workout. And you need to also have a picture in that journal of yourself at a moment or a time where if you're trying to lose weight, at a time where you looked at yourself and you was like, damn, I look good. Woo. And put that in that journal. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, okay, if that's okay. something that you're trying to do, and that picture needs to be on the front of that journal. When you open it, that's the first thing you need to see. And then for the rest of the time, write down what your workout you did, write down the food that you ate, write down your weight once a week, write down how you felt before and after your workout, and anything else that you can think of. 
even your dress size. If you okay. want to write down your dress size or, you know, wait, um, you know, get your measurements and write those down. You can do that as well. Okay. Journaling is going to help you see your progress. You can't see your progress if you don't write it down. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it won't happen overnight, but you'll it be will able not. to see some of the progress because it'll be in your journal. Exactly. Because okay. And so, because look, weight loss is a journey, so you need a journal so that you can make sure you yeah. Okay. Okay. I like that. I yes. like that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. It's not a yeah. Weight um, loss is not a it's not a jog. It's not a it's, it's a journey. So we're going to go through that journey through this journal here. Okay, I like that. That is mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, well, is there anything else before you have to pop off? I know you need to go, but is there anything else before you have to pop off? No, I just, you know, if, if you ever need anything, um, if you want me to send you stuff that I can send you things, uh, you know, this is my, I love it with a passion, so I can talk about it forever and daily. Yes, you uh, do. Yes. <laughs> so if you ever need anything, you just shoot me a quick text or whatever. I have all kinds of okay. information for everything from people for that's going through um, diabetes, how to eat right when you're going through certain, mm -hmm. you know, way, um, certain illnesses, um, going through menopause, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever you're going through there's a workout and some way you can eat mm -hmm. to kind of help that, whatever you're going through. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Well, Tasha, thank you so much for being you're here welcome. at my community. They're posting. They love the ideas. I'll get everything um, set up for them, like put the links and stuff in here. I should okay. be able to have the links by tomorrow. But I will okay. um, email you to receive that newsletter the you newsletter. were talking about. Yes. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. But thank you so much for being here. And thank you. I, I'm so glad we finally got it together. <laughs> I'm so glad. I know. We tried <laughs> earlier today. I yeah, know. It wasn't it's working. Better. But this I was going to happen today. <laughs> yes. Right, right, right. Well, right. Thank well, thank you so much for being here. And how can people contact you if they want to get in touch with you about workouts or how to work with you? How can they get in contact with you? Oh, okay. At my, it is tfitzumba at gmail.com. Okay. T fit Zumba at gmail at gmail dot com. And they can also, you know, they can also follow okay, me perfect. on Instagram. And they can follow me on Instagram at T Fit Zumba. Cause I put on my, you know, I put on my wellness Wednesdays and all that stuff in there. So Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You do. I will let them know that and I'll put all this in the in the um, in the comments below. Thank you again, Tasha. Thank I appreciate you. it. You're welcome. Thank you for thinking of all me. Right. I appreciate it too. Bye. Bye. I gotta go to class now. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. So I just love her. We actually went to high school together. We as it was then, um, which I am blessed that mine is too. Okay. You know, just good people in life, but, um, she had some really great information. I love what she said about the weight loss. I mean, the workout journal, I like the workout journal. Um, so you can see your weight loss. You're going to see your weight loss. I mean, see your progress is what she said. See your progress because weight loss is a journey. So you need a journal. I like that. Um, I also like debunking the meditation of thinking that it has to take a really long time and that we have to go into this completely silent and quiet meditative state. I love the 12 mindful meditations that she gave us. So I will have, um, I believe she'll be able to send that to me, but if she doesn't, I did, <laughs> I believe I captured most of them. So I'll just type some of those up if she can't send it to me. And then um, the yoga. So the yoga video, yoga with Adrian on YouTube, Adrian from Austin, Texas, as well as nerdfitness.com. I mean, just 
this is just a plethora of really great stuff, like just really good stuff. So I'm going to get everything typed up. And next Tuesday, when we come back, we should be back at our typical time next Tuesday. So when we come back next Tuesday, I'd love to hear from you guys, any of your successes, uh, Jennifer was gracious enough to jump on live with me tonight. So I appreciate that Jennifer and her mom jumped on live and she just shared why she wanted to be in the community as well as um, some successes that she's seen. So this week, don't forget, we are going to continue. So is the goal the perfect? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> exactly what I was about to talk about. Jennifer says, so is the goal this week to still move three times. It may be at the water schedule you posted. All of that. So yes, this week we're not going to add four days. We're just going to stay at continuing to move three days this week, getting your heart rate up and moving. Hey, Minerva. Yes, Minerva. This was amazing. You want to catch the replay. This was absolutely amazing. Natasha came on, gave us great information. So you want to catch the replay. So going forward this week, we want to have three days of getting your heart rate up. And then also, if you will take a look, I posted the information about the water. Let's make sure that we're staying hydrated and we're getting water to our muscles. So make sure in our organs. So let's do those two. That's a great suggestion, uh, Jennifer. Definitely let's stay with the three days a week. Get your heart rate up, get moving. And then let's go with the water intake. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna tell you how much water you need to intake. Um, we know that medically it needs to be at late, a minimum of eight glasses of water, six to eight glasses of water. But what I posted is the doctor there, he actually, uh, he's one of the friends, one of my friends on Facebook, but he actually, Dr. Christie, he, I took that from his site and um, with his permission, I use that from his site, but it tells you different times of the day to you to drink water so that your body can maximize the water and run effectively. So it gives different times a day. So that is the goal for next Tuesday. By the time we jump on live, make sure you have had your three days of movement and exercise, getting your heart rate up. And then we can also discuss how you've incorporated the water that was posted that tells you the different times during the week. So ladies, I've enjoyed you guys being here. <clears throat> um, I believe we have done a magnificent job this week with keeping each other accountable first and foremost, as well as keeping each other encouraged. And I love the one piece that uh, Tasha said about have compassion on yourself. So for me, that's where the cheat days come in. Similar to Jennifer, she's able to have her cheat day. It does not throw her off. So we are changing our lifestyles. So whatever we're doing now, it has to be something that you can continue throughout your life. And it's not just a binge or a one-time thing to hurry up and drop some weight because we already know that's going to come back. So how do we actually operation healthy body and change our mindset while we're shifting the change in our body? All right, ladies. Well, like I always say, that's it for me. And I always say, go out and map it. Make a positive impact today. Don't forget, if this is resonating with you and you're finding great value, sharing is caring. So share this with any of your friends who would like to be a part of this community. Definitely tag friends and people that you know would benefit greatly from the content and the information and the support that we receive here in the community. So until next time, you guys go out and have a terrific Tuesday and make a positive impact today. All right. Bye, guys.